Hey guys, so I'm finally showing you my planner setup. It's nowhere near um, finished, but I figured I would just show it to you guys already because um, knowing me, it's just going to take a bit. I'm always working on some other project and stuff. So even though I still need to add details to this, I figured I'd show it to you guys anyway. And um, yeah, just uh, let you see how it's been going and all of that. And you can already see my cute little Hello Kitty pen. Um, anyway, this is the gold Kiki K planner. If you guys haven't seen my unboxing video, I will leave a link in the description box below um, just so you can see how it looked beforehand if you would like to. Um, but anyway, here we go. So, this is what you see when you first open it up. And I know that my um, planner is kind of plain in front, but I did that purposefully um, because I wanted it to just be plain when you first see it. And of course I put a golden state of mind because A, I like that quote um, or statement, I don't know. And um, I used my handwriting to do that. I did it on vellum and then I cut it out and I put it on a sheet of acetate, um, which is great because I can just put sticky notes on top of here and take them right off. And I just wanted to keep that plain because I just wanted it to just be very like nice and pretty but plain when you open it up because I like details but not like overly amount. I also used a piece of ombre vellum so it actually goes from pink like a darker pink to a lighter pink and I don't know how well you can see that on camera but um yeah it goes from a darker to a lighter pink so it's actually ombre and it almost looks white all the way on the top but it's kind of hard to pick it up on camera and then of course I have my freckled flaunt a freckled fawn <laughs> arrow clip which I just like that because a these clips are the cutest and then B it just keeps the acetate and the pink vellum underneath it together so it's just nice to have that um, I still have the original notepad that came with this from Kiki K um, but I do occasionally just use my hot pink sticky notes um, you guys probably know I love pink if you watch my channel on a daily, um, or on a weekly, shall I say, since I don't make daily videos yet. But yeah, um, these are Avery L. sticky notes. Um, they're basically my favorite sticky notes because they are translucent, so you can see behind them, and I like that um, because since you guys know I'm obsessed with vellum, which is this type of paper here that is translucent, I just like things that are translucent. I think that they look really cute, so I keep that in there. Um, I also keep some Hello Kitty notes, like mini little uh, sticky flags. I keep them in here, and I got these at Michael's, um, but I don't know if they still sell them or not. But at one point, they had like a whole Hello Kitty collection. Let's see, what else do I have in here? Um, I have some Hello Kitty stickers. I forget sometimes what I stick in there, but I usually keep some stickers and sticky flag notes just in case I need them for anything. Okay, these are just some notes. Um, other than that, I don't like to jam pack this one area because I just don't want to overload my planner either, especially with things I'm not going to use, which is why this is empty so far, but I might use this in the future. Um, then I keep my tag, which just has what every color stands for, um, and I got this idea off of another YouTuber, I, well, off of a blog, and I think she has a YouTube. Um, but I can't remember her name, so if I do remember, I will link it in the description box below. But what it is, is just thin washi tape where I just uh, labeled everything so that I could kind of use that in my calendar. Um, I don't always label things by color, though. It depends how much energy and how lazy I am that day, so just a side note. Um, but it's just a good idea for color coding. So, going more in-depth into my planner... I have the tabs that I've created, and like I said, I haven't finished this yet, so it's still a work in progress. Um, and I actually used the box that my Kiki K came in to create um, my first planner um, tab because I loved the box so much. I really love diamond shapes, so I didn't want to just throw away the box or whatever, so I thought this was a way for me to keep a piece of it forever. Hoarders for life. <laughs> Um, and then I used my Dymo label maker to um, basically make the first little tab. And I'm going to zoom in on that for you guys so you can see it a little bit better in detail. Um, to make that first 
tab because you can use different colors in your Dymo label maker. You can use black, pink, or whatever variation they have. So that's the first thing that I did. Um, so yeah, you can keep your Kiki K box that you get and make a file out of it. So I did that as my first file only just to make it sturdy since I was going to keep this simple anyways. And then the other side over here, um, I put some Dear Lizzie paper I had. And then um, I created this heart by um, just sketching out a heart with some pencil and then going over it with pen because as you guys know um, I'm really into art and making my own script. So um, I made my own script and I just put a Bible verse um, there just because um, I'm a Christian so Bible verses always motivate me and so I figured I'd put this one which I really love that says when my heart is overwhelmed lead me to the rock that is higher than I. And I thought it came out super cute, and I laid vellum over it to um, to just keep it like looking kind of like shadowy type of effect. But I really like how it looked, and I really love how the colors came out because it reminds me of an old um, Kate Spade cell phone cover I used to have. So then we have the stickers, which I've left there. Um, I haven't used a ton of them. Um, because it's just, I don't know, I use it when I need to and I haven't needed to um, since I have a lot of craft stuff. Then I have this little file that I made. Um, I could have put this on the front cover of my um, planner, but I decided I wanted it here um, where the personal information is just because I liked having it here because it basically is me, like, all summed up some of my favorite things and kind of I just feel properly kind of like just shows my personality. Um, and basically, um, if I ever wanted to, I could always transfer this over to the front page. So, but I just wanted to show it to you guys. But for now, I like where I have it. Um, I decided to take out my sewing f machine for this, which if you know me, then you know that that was quite a task because I don't really sew all that much, but I literally just have a sewing machine to sew on paper and stuff. In the future, I'd love to learn how to do more with it, but for now, I'm sewing impaired, but I will take a class in the future. So like my first sewing line here came out kind of wonky, but um, I'm alright with that because I don't think it has to be straight to look nice. So I had left it just the way it was. I could have just made a whole new one because I had only done these two first pockets, but I was fine with leaving it this way. Um, this first one is lined with vellum and I put some gold sequins and um, an arrow that I die cut and it just says evidence of me. And then this next one has a bunch of freckled fawn um, packaging that I saved and cut out and turned into like this little collage looking thing because I love deer and does and all of that and I love the packaging from freckled fawn so I really wanted to use it to make something really cute so I love how I have like um, like the boy deer and then I have like two does and all of the colors are kind of different so it really plays off each other and I actually used one glue dot to keep one of those down within the pocket. Then I put a picture of myself that I liked, um, just to, since this is kind of like a collage of my favorite things. Then I put a little, um, kind of like a sequence pocket as well, but instead it's like confetti and it's actually just um, cut from vellum. So it's just like really translucent pink. And I just put a few of them and then that's a handmade stamp that I designed which is this right here and I decided to um, emboss that in gold and stick that in there and then I did the Care Bear sticker in there because I loved the Care Bears as a kid and um, so I just decided it would be cute to add the sticker in there and um, then I did some like I had a post-it that's pink and striped that I picked up at Joann's so I used that in the background as well as some bling and then I sewed that pocket shut as well not that it needed to be but I just thought the sewing detail would look kind of cute if you can kind of see that up there then I put a picture of me and my boyfriend here which I thought would be super cute and then um, I painted in some teal and pink script uh, today I choose joy because I'm all about being positive so I decided to just paint that on there and make my own little 2x2 two two because I, I like to use my own handwriting for things um, because it just makes it more uniquely my own. And then I put a picture of my puppy Daisy in her Halloween dress um, because I just think she looks so cute in that picture with the little look she's giving. Um, 
Um, in the future, I'm probably going to put a few more pictures in these three pockets um, just because I think it would be cool to have some pictures of my family as well in these pockets, but I haven't done that yet because, like I said, I haven't really finished it. Um, and then I also did create these little um, side tabs here with the die that I had from Studio Calico and um, I die cut some pink vellum and then I used my gold uh, staples on this and I used my little like pink tiny attacher to do that. So this is basically pretty custom made for me and I really love it. I feel like I really made it my own so. Then I haven't really finished filling out this paper here. Then I have um, my calendar, which um, I basically decorated for the month of October. I still have to decorate the month of November, even though we're already getting, yeah, we are on the 11th, so I have to actually move over. But I just wanted to show you what this month looked like, and I will be decorating the month of November um, this week, actually, so I can kind of uh, get going with that so if you guys are interested in seeing a video of me just decorating my pages um, you want you're gonna want to subscribe to my channel and stay tuned for that because I will be doing that in a separate video but for this page I just wanted to make it kind of Halloweeny so um, I love hot pinks and oranges so I just added that in there because I thought it would go, go good for the Halloween theme and then um, I added this little card as well where I just colored with my Copic markers, um, little Anya dolls, and then I added these little stickers, and this is from, this paper is from, I believe, a Glitz Design 6x6 paper pad, and it says, the adventure begins, and then I just created some cool, like, splatter effect, just to give it a more unique look, because I love splatter effects, as you guys know if you watch my channel. <laughs> um, and then I just added little touches, like the washi tape, um, because since I told you guys that I try to like color code things, but sometimes I get lazy, but sometimes I actually do it. That's what I've been doing. And then I added a little paper there for 31. And then like a little Frankenstein's Bride right there. Um, and then I added this little tab. And I added this little um, flower up here. Because I just like the way it looked. Um, like if you see it from the top up here, I just like being able to see them. And it's a quick way to be able to flip through. And then if I go right here, you can see that um, I have already my November, well, not November, but my everyday tab, but it's for November. And that's why it's orange. It has a little flower there. Um, and I have personal stuff. And then I have to finish doing this page. So, but um, I go by month, so I'm kind of behind finishing that month, but that's where I'm at right now. Um, this is my next file tab I created um, and I just put a bunch of quotes that um, mean something to me and I put she and since this is um, for my YouTube stuff I just really wanted to make it like very me. I have this little um, flower clip from Freckled Fawn that I have up there that I just think looks cute because you can see it from top and also it's a quick way to know where my tab is exactly as well. I mean not that I need to but and then it just says she believed she could so she did and I'll do a close up for you guys. Um, I just did that with my typewriter, and it's kind of off-centered, but I liked it. I, like, I like the way that it came out like that, so I left it like that. Um, and it says, stay close to what keeps you feeling alive, keep putting out good, and it will come back to you tenfold in unexpected ways. Decide, commit, succeed. I am learning every day to allow the space between where I am and where I want to be, to inspire, not terrify me, and all of those good things. And I felt like they were relevant to the things that I do in my crafts and my YouTube, so I wanted to put them there just so that whenever I need to pick me up, I can read some of the things that inspire me. So I just really love the way this came out. It's very me. It's very mixed media. I don't know it's of things. Um, it's not just YouTube related, but um, it's just like, whatchamacallit. Let me see if I have a paper or something over here. I put a little post-it note for stuff that was owed to me, things that I want, my wish list, um, my blog stuff, uh, stuff that's scheduled, um, uh, this um, that I stapled there and I um, got these printables from when I took the Agenda Marcy Penner class, um, which um, I really enjoy Marcy Penner's tips, but 
it's the first class I ever took from Studio Calico and I was expecting a little bit more. Um, this is my next file folder that I did um, where I just um, I made this 3x4 card that says Mother of Dragons and I just painted that with some watercolors and I did the background with watercolors as well and I just glued that down and put some glitter tape um, and used one of my gold foil accents that I made. Um, and I kept this pretty simple, but I just wanted to use it there for my lists because um, I love Game of Thrones, so I just figured I would just make this like an ode to Game of Thrones, and then I used uh, more Dear Lizzie paper in the background from one of the past collections, and then it just says lists, and then I just put lists of things. Um, this is just like TV shows I watch that I want to remember what days they come on. And speaking of which, I should probably add one on there because I always forget it. So back to what I was saying, um, I didn't really do anything extra special on this page and I don't know about you guys but I'm kind of addicted to um, the show True Tory. Um, next is just uh, sites to remember, um, websites that I like to go to to shop. Um, what else? Um, just I'll make notes for things like favorite songs or movies to watch like for Halloween I just put like the classics and I also like to remember that because um, whatchamacallit um, sometimes I'll use I'll use notes that I put in this for my project life afterwards um, what else um, here I just put a banner and I stamped this heart and I watercolored it and then I just used my own handwriting to write YouTube and then I stamped favorites and I just started making a list of my favorites um, YouTubers to watch which obviously I didn't get very far because there's a lot more than just two but I have to finish that and then this next one like I haven't made an actual like personalized file for this yet so I just left this one since it's a really pretty lilac anyway um, and then I have this tab here that says today, and um, this was from the an SVG file from the Agenda class that Studio Calico did, um, where they gave you a file if you have a cameo or silhouette, um, you could make you could have this cut out, and that's a special machine for anyone who's watching this that doesn't have a know what a die cutting machine is. But um, I know most of you who watch my channel will know what that is, so I used that to make this, and then. Um, I cut that out of this paper, which is by My Favorite Things. It's a Mambi stack I have. And um, and then I just watercolored the letters and the arrow. And it got a little bit messy because I was like watercolor crazy that day. But um, I love how it ended up looking, so I just left it. And yeah, it came out really cute. And then this side, I just used my own handwritten script. And if you guys follow me on Instagram, you saw a picture of when I was working on this. So um, there are going to be links to my Instagram and other social media. So you guys should totally follow me on there if you get a chance to. Um, but yeah, I, I did this all by hand, just using a paintbrush and some watercolors. So I really love the way that looked. I'm thinking in the future of making my own um, like tabs for people to be able to uh, have some of their own if they like my handwriting so yep that's what I did with that and then I matched hot pink to go with this side of it so it's like tame and calm wild and crazy and I really like that and I just put things that quotes that I like like our hearts are wild that's why our ribs are cages grow mighty follow your heart all that kind of stuff and then here um, I just basically this says today on it so it's anything that's going on this day um, and sometimes I'll use one page for several days at a time depending on what I have going on but I'll put the date if I do so that I know that what day that's for and then if I'm doing um, chores or whatever because it's mostly just things I have to get done um, I'll just put the list and I'll go marking it off and checking it off and I don't know what happened here that I have smudged it but I just go around and um, just make lists and notes of things um, the one thing I will say with the Kiki K planners is you can basically see through the pages after you stamp, so I don't really love that, but the planners themselves are awesome, um, and, and they're pretty good quality. Um, I would just say I wish the paper was a bit thicker because um, I don't like the ink going through them. So basically that's all I have so far, you guys. Um, I will be doing more in the future. Um, if you guys are interested in seeing 
videos like that, then be sure to like my channel, um, subscribe, like my video, leave me comments for any suggestions of things you might want to see me doing on camera. Um, and I will hopefully be doing a video showing um, my planner pages, me decorating my planner pages, if that's something you guys are interested in seeing. Um, let me just show you guys my pen before I go. You go like that and it kind of goes kind of loose once it's out. And then it straightens up once it goes again. And um, whenever I'm not using this pen, I will use this pen, which is by Papermate. And it's a pretty cheap pen. And it's not the kind that's erasable like the, fr the Frixon ones that everyone's always getting. I don't know if I said it right. But um, I might get those in the future and do a review on them to see if you guys... I can tell you guys if they're any good or not. But um, for now, I've been using these Papermate ones, the Inkjoy ones, and they work really well. Um, and if I really do make a mistake, well then I just scratch it out because... You know, it's paper, so it's not really that big of a deal. Um, but yeah, like I said, I'm going to have my social links in the description box below, you guys. Um, I would love it if you guys would follow my Facebook community page that I put links to, because um, I love your support there. And not just that, I put exclusive content on there, and I'm going to be doing even more of that. Um, so that's the same thing you get with Instagram. You see more pictures of stuff in between making videos. You'll see me doing other things and it, that I put on there. And um, with my Facebook page, I really like it because we can interact more and talk more. So um, just like we do when you guys leave comments on my YouTube, and I love it when you guys leave comments here as well. I'm just saying um, it's a more everyday um, in between me making videos that we can talk and all of that. So if you guys are interested in seeing more exclusive content and things there, then I would definitely check that out if you guys get a chance. But I hope you guys like this video. and. Um, yeah, I can't wait to hear what you guys think and how you like it. Um, this is my first planner I've ever had, so I'm not sure how differently I do a setup to other people, but I like how I have it going on so far, and I like the little girly touches that I've been doing, so I'm just making it my own, and yeah. So anyway, you guys, thank you so much for watching. Thank you so much to all the new subscribers and for supporting my channel. I genuinely love you guys, and I love hearing from all you guys, and thank you so much for watching.